Welkom bij uh, Music in the Backyard. In uh, Music in the Backyard wordt de aandacht besteed aan uh, artiesten die niet uh, direct in de grote concertzalen spelen, maar uh, meer in kleine cafés of kleine gelegenheden. En misschien zelfs wel uh, ergens in een uh, achtertuin, misschien zelfs wel uh, bij jou om, om de hoek. We zitten op dit moment uh, in het Huis Verloren hier in uh, Horen. En uh, naast mij zit uh, AJ Roach, die hier uh, zo dadelijk een uh, optreden zal geven met uh, twee muzikanten die hij heeft meegenomen. AJ, uh, welcome here in, in Holland, yeah, in the first place, and uh, welcome in, in Horen, in Huis Verloren. Uh, maybe you can introduce yourself and the two other musicians. Sure. My name is AJ Roach, this is Adam Roskowitz, he plays uh, mandolin, guitar, various other stringed instruments, and this is Alyssa Rose, who plays uh, fiddle. Yeah. Hey, you uh, just released an, uh, your second album, yeah. uh, called Revelation. Right. And uh, in 2003, you released uh, Dogwood Winter. Is there a, a difference between those uh, two albums for you? Definitely. Um, Dogwood Winter is much more of a, an acoustic record, I think. A, a little more introspective, maybe, as far as the songs go. And I think the theme of Dogwood Winter was more of sort of a homesickness theme. When I recorded that record, I just moved the west coast. Um, I grew up sort of on the east coast of the states. And Revelation is more of a, I think it sort of deals thematically with the gap between the person that you would like to believe you are and the person that you actually know in your heart of hearts that you are. Okay. And Revelation has, I think, much more lush uh, instrumentation and and arrangements. You, you, you were raised in the, the mountains of Virginia. Right. And you moved to San Francisco. Uh, how can you hear it in the, in the music, the, the mountain influences? I think, I think that uh, a lot of what we do, while it's not necessarily traditional, I, I feel like it is sort of firmly rooted in that kind of tradition. Yeah. And I hope that what we're doing is taking that tradition and sort of pushing the envelope, expanding on that tradition to maybe make it more accessible to people who normally wouldn't ever discover that type of mountain music. Maybe they'll hear what we do, like it, and then want to find out where that comes from, you know? Yeah, I think uh, most of the people know the, uh, the, the mountain music morally from uh, the, the motion picture El Brado Barado. But right. this is different. This is not really old-fashioned uh, mountain no, music. I think the only uh, the the biggest thing that we have in common with that type of uh, music is the instrumentation. Yeah, banjos and fiddles, mandolins, and guitars. But it sort of uh, sort of starts to deviate once you get past that. Completely different songs. I think so. Okay. Um, you're here for. Uh, here in Holland for a tour, and you're playing uh, all the shows with AJ. <laughs> and you were also playing on the on the on the, on the CD. You were playing the, the latest. Yeah. What are you gonna do uh, this afternoon? Uh, well, we're gonna uh, play a show here in Horn, and then after that, I don't really know what we're gonna do. No. Maybe walk around town. Yeah. Yeah. You already seen the, the city a bit? Yeah, a little. I'd like to see more of it. We just kind of saw it driving in. Yeah, okay. Well, thank you for coming out and uh, have fun this afternoon and the rest of the tour. Well, thanks. Thanks for having us. Thank you very much. Cause I love you more than you love yourself. I love you more than you love yourself. I love you more than you wish it wasn't true. But 
some things are the way that they are and there ain't a goddamn thing you can do Yeah. 